Hey everybody, welcome back to We Are Podcast. This is We Are Bagoo, Season 1, Episode 23, Fall Guys. If this is your first time checking out the podcast network, please head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And if you get a chance, head over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. You can find us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash We Are Podcast. And with that said, on to the podcast we are bagu hey everybody welcome to we are bagu a video game podcast where we talk atari the steam and everything in between this is duck i'm also here with my co-host dr e yo what's up actually it's reverend ethan eastwood now i know i've got like every time we do a new episode of this my title gets just a little bit longer but the fun part is you actually are a reverend and a little bit more prestigious oh exactly did you did you get ordained? I what did. Is this? This yeah. was, we all did uh, <laughs> earlier this year. Yeah, yeah. yeah you're you're speaking to uh, Reverend Eastwood, Reverend Zell, Pinks, and Byres. So Correct. For some reason, you the, cut out saying all that. Uh, that joke was wasted. But that's <laughs> fine. <laughs> the point Reverend is, Pinkston, Reverend Winslow, Reverend Byres, Reverend Eastwood. Oh, yes, like like you are that. among the holy square here <laughs> what is five before. people Holy. what is uh, five yeah no what is no, it for five oh Austin shit it's a pentagram us. fuck we're the evil priests <laughs> yes <laughs> so yes uh speaking of satanic addictive fun shit this is halloween we're doing this cast but we're not talking about something spooky we're talking about something rather fun almost childlike uh so also today we have uh jake pinkston hey jake how are you doing hey Guys, I'm and sitting in on We Are Bagoo today. Hobby <laughs> Bears. Hobbs, how you doing? I'm doing good. I'm highly frustrated, but I'm all right. And Hobby uh, the Bear by Rez. The Hobby the Bear by Rez. And then we have Mr. Austin McDonald. Austin, how are you, sir? What's up, guys? I'm waiting for Jake to ready up. I oh, did it. I fucking did. <laughs> so, so it begins. There Wait, it is. Hobby, that situation there, Jake. Listen, we're talking about Fall Guys. We are all Fall Guys junkies. And in fact, three of the guys right now are actually playing Fall Guys as we do this podcast. We decided that's the route we're going to go. So if you hear cheering or shouting or excitement, that's what's happening. So what? as we talk about it, we're actually going to be playing it. That's how much we love Fall Guys. So we've been playing games all day. We got to talk about the origin of our group of friends playing this game. It really comes from Jake. Our obsession began with Jake's obsession with the game. Jake, how did you find out about this? Watching a, sh- a show called Djibouti Studios. If you get a chance, check them out. They're funny guys. They do live streaming stuff. They also do all the dub it outs. They do the commentaries over the movies like Mortal Kombat and shit. But they were playing it on there, and I was getting tense just while watching them play it. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's one of those games, like, you lose yourself in it. Even if you're watching somebody else play, you're like, oh, shit. Like, uh, it just looked like so much fun. So after about two or three days of watching them play it, I was like, man, I'm just going to fucking download it. And that's that's where it all started. So, I mean, so I guess good. pretty close to whenever it came out on PS4, I was probably like a week after it came out. Right. And this was a bit of a sleeper cell of a game. And Jake kept saying to us over and over again, have you downloaded Fall Guys? Have you downloaded Fall Guys? Are you guys getting Fall Guys? And we had no fucking idea what he was talking about. But he kept being very enthusiastic in a Jake way, which is the best kind of enthusiastic. <laughs> and we went over to his place to do the We Are Era podcast, and we finally sat down to play it. And like most people, when they first see it, they think it's a stupid kids game. It's a it, goddamn stupid kids game. It is. But we all so agree good. it is. <laughs> But something about it, it just sucks you in. It's enthralling. I don't know because it's colorful. It's easy controls. I don't know if it's the game show aspect of it, but it catches everyone. This thing is the bug that is more powerful than COVID itself. So it's so much fun to play. So Hobby, I think, was the first one to be converted. Hobbs, how did Jake get you on that? Me and Jake were hanging out one day, and uh, he was like, hey, I want to download a game that we can play. And we were talking about Fall Guys, and I think we had confused it with payday that day yeah oh ethan loves uh, that yeah uh, no i remember, downloaded like the uh, supreme package yeah go on sorry <laughs> and, uh, I, I remember thinking it's like yeah I, I'm, I'm not having fun with this game so we ended up playing mortal kombat 11 <laughs> <laughs> see how people were talking and, shit and, on payday there and, 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 <laughs> Actually, well, i think he's talking shit about uh about fall guys if i'm not mistaken <laughs> <laughs> oh they like two days later jake said oh have i downloaded fall guys it is fucking awesome it's not like the game we were playing up before so like, okay <laughs> we got it okay and then i downloaded it and i was like 
No, I oh. played it at Jake's place, so I didn't get it. Yeah, because like, I brought it over to your place and we played on the projector. Yep. Yeah. So yeah. much fucking fun. That I game is the cast shit. no more. I'm done. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Ethan, but you technically are the next on the cast. I think you were the next one to get indoctrinated after that. How did you find out about it? I found out about it. Actually, it was free to play on PlayStation. That's part of what led to this game's success, in my opinion. Is I think it was a couple months back. It was one of two games that they released for free on PlayStation Plus. And dude, this one was the sleeper. Like it's a small download, simple gameplay. Parties of four. Everyone loves the big group battle royale style gameplay, and this is just it's so unique. There's been plenty of other games out there that have mocked the Wipeout style of tapping into that reality TV show type of game, like right. uh, Doritos Crash Course on the Xbox 360. That <laughs> Doritos yeah. Crash Course? What the yeah. hell is that? Yeah, it's just like an obstacle course. Look it up. It's fun. Yeah. But this one cranked it to 11. I think having the 60 people running forward as a group and last man standing, the whole competition aspect of it really just brought it home. It was a genius idea. Yeah, Absolutely. It's brilliant. It reminds me of MXC. Yeah. What? Most Extreme Elimination Challenge. Oh, that's yeah. That's what it's supposed mm-hmm. to, though. I mean, that's what Wipeout is also. Yeah. It's a little bit of American Ninja Warrior. And K- uh, Kadeshi, Kadeshi's Castle? Kadeshi's, Kadeshi's, Castle? Ka- Kadeshi's Castle. You, I yeah. knew you know that. But uh, Ethan, when you first played it, though, you gave it a chance for the download you saw. It. Were you intrigued by it, or did you think stupid fucking kids game? Oh, dude, I've fallen in love with so many stupid fucking kids games, so I didn't bat an eye. I was like, all right, let's give it a shot. Right I, on. I usually will watch a video on it or look at the screenshots, trailers, something, and go, if it looks interesting, if it's yeah, a you stupid You kind of know game, if you like it or not. Yeah, I'm going to download it and try it out. I think I was next in the group. Played it you got it place. before Javi because uh, you bought Javi his copy. So yeah, you were actually you the did. first one on. So, yeah, I was at my girlfriend's place, and, and I was like, I really want to play this game with Jake because I think we were both having kind of a down day. You know, everything's, <laughs> been a little bit, everything's been a little bit down recently. So I was like, man. At, at that time, we were all fucking down. Like, right. We were, yeah. I'm all and down. I was like, oh, wait. we can." Play. Jake was said, let's play it online. So me and Jake played it, and I was like, oh, shit. Let's get Javi a copy. And it's gonna that, and then Austin almost immediately after that, I think jumped on it too, or maybe it was the same day. But yeah, we he's were like, all "Hey, you want to play Fall Guys?" I didn't even talk to him about it. And <laughs> That's he just, out of nowhere. He's like, he just knew that we're oh, they gotta be playing this. And Austin, you were the one that really came in hard with like the strategies and shit. You'd been watching like Twitch. Is that what you were watching? How did you kind of get into it? So I've always been a platformer fan. I love Mario, and uh, I watch a guy on Twitch named Grand Pooh Bear. And Grand uh, Pooh Bear. He's a Mario Maker player. He was doing that every day for years, playing Mario Maker. And then the day this came out, he was playing, and some of the other Mario Maker people started playing it. And I watched for weeks, just loving the gameplay. Just it was just really exciting. Oh no, Jake That's said how I got into the it. Game. So the yeah, yeah, just and everyone. Then, uh, <laughs> yeah, they're they're playing as we speak, and it, yeah. by all their faces, it looks like it's super fucking it's very intense. intense. <laughs> yeah, we got it. <laughs> It no, was a team game. We were, we were in a team out. game. We nice. were the yeah, rollout, the roll so out. we're like, "Oh, come on!" So, Austin, you were saying though, you were watching the videos before you played it. It took a little while. Yeah, so I started watching it day one, and at first I was kind of like annoyed because I was like, "Man, I want to watch Mario Maker. You, you normally play <laughs> what's going on? What is this bullshit? <laughs> Fucking stupid kids game. Goddamn kids game. Let me watch my Paper Mario." <laughs> well, so okay, so I'm of the opinion I don't think there is such a thing as a kids game because I play I play a lot of different games. At the end of the day, video games were originally made for kids. I mean, this is kind of a kid thing. So awesome. any I say, game is I really. I say it derogatory. Yeah, it's. <laughs> But it is funny, though, because my friend Ben, I tried to get him to play it, and he's like, this is a dumb kids game. I was like, yeah, that's why it's fun. (laughs) It doesn't matter because it's so much more than that. But in the surface, that's fine. I don't care if you think that. This has been the game that's gotten me through this COVID situation. It's the community thing, playing it with my friends. Yeah, dude, for sure. And that's a big part of it. But So, Austin, when you jumped onto it finally – addiction right same thing you were in i knew i would love it and luckily like i said i was watching a lot of really really good players play so i knew the meta and i knew the strats and yes uh, so i just came out the gate and immediately was like you know it took me a while to get my first win but i was qualifying on a lot of rounds just because yeah i knew the strats so and austin's definitely been our sherpa when it comes to tips and tricks and stuff like that and then jake kind of took that on and now we kind of share it amongst the group we're like oh you can do this or jump over here or go this way and the community, like I said, this is the modern version of us sitting around the Nintendo 64 playing Goldeneye. 
Yep. Like we've yep. all Absolutely. really taken to this for some reason. Javi's literally cursing at the game right now. It's this is <laughs> what now it's funny because this is one of the most tense rollouts ever. They've been each holding the ball in their own court. Like Yeah, this is a battle. They've almost got it across the line. Well, yeah, they got it. Red that's the red red got it. Well let's They're talk done. about the history of the game. How did this game come about? Does anyone know? Honestly, I I don't know how Joe, I think is the creator's name, how he did it or what his mindset was or anything like that. I've been watching, you know, level development and stuff like that. But as far as how it came about, no, I mean, it's sure, sure stroke of genius, I'm assuming. I mean, uh, well, they didn't but, expect it to be this popular. No, they, they definitely did not at all. They no. were not expecting this turnout. And it's like, of global success i mean uh, mm-hmm. a, across the nation across the universe or fucking across everywhere the Sorry, in the galaxy yeah. across, the, across the globe i mean everybody's fucking playing it so but that's the thing i think that part of what helped was like ethan was saying putting it on ps plus uh, yeah it is it is the most downloaded ps plus game ever. right and they I, did not know that this was going to be such a success. They didn't know that people were going to be jumping in left and right. Go ahead, Ethan. Give us Here's a, a fun history. fact for you, just because I pulled up the Wikipedia page to kind of get some more information on it. One of these citations says, within 24 hours of release of the game going live, it had drawn over 1.5 million players. Mm-hmm. That's fucking insane. Yeah. Yeah. It was published by Devolver Digital, which they are by no means a no-name publisher. They've been around for a while, and they pumped out some really good games. One day, almost one and a half million people? That's insane. That's really a badass game. That's lightning in a bottle right there. And I think being available for free was the key thing. And it was also free on Epic for a while, too, on the Epic launcher on PC. They had a shit ton of sales on Steam. A lot of that 1.5 million was on Steam. But like I just, a surprising amount. I don't think they were prepared for how successful it was going to be. And that's the thing is like, you never know what's going to be huge. And for whatever reason, and we're going to get into why we like it here, this game just took off like gangbusters. Like, it's crazy. So, guys, individually, I want to know, what is it about this game? Like, we talk about like the team play aspect and we scoot up because we always scoot. Scoot! Um, scoot! Um, yeah. Whenever we play that way, whenever, you know, talking to each other, uh, we play it on the PS4, and we have a blast, and obviously the PS4 is the superior version. Fuck the Steam version. You can't have fucking names Hot on this bullshit. Yeah, but I, that pisses me off, dude, that you can't have fucking name on there anymore. That, One second. It, we're all three in the final. Oh, so get it. Right uh, with Fall Mountain? Uh, Hexagon, what are you looking at? Hex. 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 it up, baby. A, a, three, a three-team... Finals. Oh, That's good, man. Hexy. We rarely do this. Hexa, hexa. Usually one of us is out by now. See, you heard the excitement there of us always being like, ooh, hexagon. Ooh, it's about to happen. This game is simplistic in design, and I think that's one of its biggest merits to it is the fact that it uses the ragdoll mechanics for the characters. Like, your character is extremely vulnerable, and any little bump, any little push, any little shove, whatever it is, I think it, because it affects you so immensely, that's what makes it so much fun. Do you agree with me, Ethan? Dude, if any one of those other little jelly beans around you even breaks wind near you, you're going <laughs> flying. Right, like, right. It, it's just so cartoony, and that's what adds a level of challenge to the game. Oh, Javi's out. <laughs> oh! And he literally just threw his controller across the room. I saw that shit. And immediately goes to ass. <laughs> but did you not immediately go to ass? I went to DoorDash. Yeah, ass. Uh, <laughs> DoorDash. But, that, but that's what's so good about it is like the simplistic control mechanics of how easy it is to get pushed around and bumped around and how frustrating it is. But it's the perfect amount of challenge versus reward. And that's what's so great about it. And the casino-like aspect no. of the reward system also makes it really, really fun to play. For you guys, what is the biggest thing that you love about this game, though? Like, Jake, being the starter of playing this, what is the thing that, that just, like, hooked you? What was it about this? Well, the playback factor alone. Like, you can be cursing this game and swearing it off in one fucking minute, and then as soon as it's done, it's like, okay, back to the lobby. Gotta go again. Gotta start another one. There's something about it that is it's very addicting, but it's also satisfying even if you don't make it to the finals. 
there's something satisfying about getting a first place on a level or mm. griefing somebody before you go out or whatever else. I'm not a griefer. I'm not a piece of shit like these other two motherfuckers. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but I just want to say. I'll grief you right now in real life, uh, motherfucker. Know, yeah, uh, fuck you, man. I'll kill you. Uh, <laughs> but it's that, that aspect of you keep going back for more. And it's, it's, right. It's very, yeah. You become a glutton for punishment. And I'm right. a fucking masochist. I like fucking being, you know, at the edge of something that I really want so badly and just having it taken from me. Yeah. It's like, motherfucker. And, and that's what's great about it because, like you said, 60 jelly beans go in, one wins at the end. And it's so exciting. And I think the way that those pauses are in between the stages also helps build anticipation as it loads the next level. So it gives you a nice yeah. little breather and then it's back into the action. And you can't pause. And that also makes it more exciting, too. You can, only pause while you, you can only pause while you're in game. You can't, like, go to your settings while you're in between the screens or anything like that. So if you want to pause or do anything like that, it's on your own accord and you're going to get fucked because it's a race the entire time. So, And I think it plays on the adrenaline and the serotonin, the dopamine, all that shit. I think it just really starts to get you. Austin, what about you? What is it about it? Like, what is this game? What is the thing that you primarily love about it? I mean, like I said, I'm a platformer fan. You know, I love when I get in the race games and I can just play the strat, go for it. Whereas most platformers, you know, you might have, if you're a speed runner, you have a strat, you use that and you hope you hit your spots. In this, there's a lot of improvisation. So it's like, you'll be doing something, but it all depends on what the other players around you are doing. If you get caught in that bean tornado, then you have to respond differently. And I, like I love that, the bean that, tornado, though. I love that. Uh, the way you uh, yeah, yeah. That's who, exactly who the what it is. The bean tornado. It's awful. <laughs> <laughs> but it's so much. The way you described it, though, is exactly it. Because like when you get piled up on each other and it's just like you're spinning around and you ragged all like that's the perfect description for it. It's the right mix of jank. And it's a good looking game, too. It's very clean looking. It's very polished. Yeah, and then it, it, it's that addiction to getting to finals and having different strats for the finals. Like hex used to be my least favorite, you know, when you first start the game because it's so hard. But then now hex is the most games I've won, and it's my favorite. It's a good mix of strategy and improvisation and luck. Yeah, yeah. Bro, you're the Hex champion. Yeah. Like, when you get on it, like, really we all are, get dude. excited. We get, like, pumped. We're like, oh, fucking Austin. All right, here we go. <laughs> so it's... I and know. I just... I almost won that last one, and it fucking... Oh, fucking. Uh, see? See what I'm saying? Ethan, right. how about you? What, what, what do you think? What is your favorite part of this game? The simplicity of it, man. Like, I think for a while there, simple games kind of took the backseat in the public's eye and now that everyone's stuck indoors and has nothing better to do people are turning to video games more and more that's why you're seeing fall guys take over and it's not hard to play it's not hard to play at all anyone so long as you have any level of competence can sit down pick up a controller and play fall not, guys not my old it's, lady man she hates it's the three fucking buttons. camera <laughs> she okay. hates the fu- no the camera <laughs> fucks her yeah she's used to playing like fucking crash bandicoot on original ps1 she is like i don't like the fucking camera okay jake i can't i'm doing what you're telling me i love it. no you're not does she get as mad as you and go stupid fucking kids game uh, throw she it gets down. more mad at me because she thinks i'm getting mad at her for not doing what i'm telling her to do oh, like, awesome. why i'm not good at this I was like well you're not <laughs> listening to me well okay excluding jake's old lady <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hobbs, what Simplicity. do you think what, what i love it? about this game I like the competition aspect of it. I do love that it's so fucking simple. It's just like a bunch of moving like little dildos just running around <laughs> jumping from platform to platform. It's, it's, it's adorable. I love it. I fucking hate it sometimes. But I also love being an asshole to some people on this game. Yeah, You're a, a piece of shit Try griefing yeah. me on the fucking Whirly Gig or Dizzy Heights right now. I didn't grief you. No, I just had some asshole do it. I didn't say you asshole. Oh, and, and if people oh, don't know what a griefer is, <laughs> just, just to be clear. <laughs> is a griefer a – I've heard that first from Austin, and I loved it. That's the technical term that people use for griefer – people at the yeah. end of the – For anybody that causes on – Other players grief. Yeah, on any online game. I love it. I like, love I it. One, I think my, it started like GTA 5, I'm sure, right? Uh, I don't know. One of my favorite stress I, that I came up with actually involved griefing while playing fall ball. Jake see me do this since I was awesome. I would just like grief the fuck out of whoever was guarding that goal. Well, yeah, yeah I mean, to. that's a strat. That's a strat. Like, you can't. Griefing, but, like, on the, griefing on the is race. underused in, in fall ball. P- people need to grief more in fall ball. It's, yeah. it's yeah. a good strat. So I'm going to say my favorite thing about it is what we're doing right now. 
I love yes, the community yes. aspect playing of friends, it. Yeah. Like playing with you guys, like I said, COVID has been a bitch and I got COVID. And whenever I was struggling, especially in the three days, it was really hard to breathe. We were on Fall Guys almost nonstop. And it literally saved me because I was stuck in my apartment and able to talk to my friends and be reassured and be like, I'm struggling, but to have you guys have my back, it, it meant everything to me. It literally probably saved my life and saved my we sanity. Love you, bro. Uh, yeah, I know, I love you guys too. And that's what I'm saying. This has been wonderful. But also just the little stuff we've made up. Like we give each other hugs. Like we'll go up at the end of the line. And and so right before you jump in, if you see like one of your teammates, you just give them a quick like grab. Like you hold the grab button. You're like, I'm giving you a hug. I'm giving you a hug. That shit cracks like, me up. Oh, come on. Yeah. And that, Dude. Jake started that. That shit's hilarious. You're forgetting the most important thing. Sprinkle boys. Oh, sprinkle yeah. Boys. Oh, so sprinkle boys. Sprinkle Oh, goddamn sprinkle boys! Oh, goddamn oh, sprinkle, yeah, sprinkle boys! What the sprinkle boys is? We all wore the sprinkle outfit, and so we just started talking in these stupid Western <sighs> voices that were ridiculous, and we just for hours just had so much fun. Well, that's the one thing about being a squad. Also, is Dude. y'all seen me get upset at this fucking game and yell at it and shit. But it's good whenever you're playing with your friends because if you get out, it's nice to take a break sometimes and just watch somebody else. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And we cheer like, each other we, on. Yeah, exactly. That's the whole thing. You got the whole cheerleader aspect, and, you know, your friends are there. You're just BSing. It, you, there's not too much stress on it. We're just trying to have fun. And it gives you time to recollect also if you are out and you're watching your friends, like, oh, man, I can't wait to get back in there. I'm going to show them how the fuck I play. Right. Literally, we got to the point where we're recording screens for crowns and posting them on Instagram. Not because it matters, just because we were proud of like our friends winning. So like I'd get of my course. camera ready before and I'd be like, oh, Jake's going to the top. Hobbs going to the top. Austin's going to the top. Ethan, doesn't matter. I love that. Um, yeah, I heard that. <laughs> uh, my other favorite thing that we've created is in gaming now they say GG, but we say GG Allen G. G. instead. Allen. <laughs> we go GG Allen's yeah. boys, GG Allen's. Right. And that just makes me so happy. Me so too. We, within, you know, the We Are Podcast Network, we have our own dialect. We have our inside jokes, but we just created more within this. And the, so, like I said, the community aspect just, just makes me so happy. I want to talk about real well, quick. Well, Smooth Brain derived from here, I'm pretty Wait, sure. Wait, Smooth Brain came from this? Yeah, Austin. No, started, no, yeah. no, that's been a thing for a long time. Uh, well, we, well, anyway, we, we weren't saying it. it. Yeah. yeah, we weren't saying it. But now we are, man. I'm, we say it a lot. Hobby says it a lot. Also, he says, I fucks with this. Uh, but I think he's still that from somewhere else. <laughs> he says, I fucks to this. I fucks <laughs> this. I, I fucked it. Oh, this is trying to warn us. I think he's just trying to warn us that something's coming. Uh, guys, yeah, real, real <laughs> quick. <laughs> Nailed it. Hey, everyone. It's just Duck jumping in here real quick to say thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. If you're enjoying it, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, or iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And if you get a chance, head over to our social media. All links can be found in the description. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast. And with that, back to the podcast. Individually, I want to know, what is your favorite level? Slime Climb. Slime Climb. Slime Climb. I'm on it right now. Really? Yeah. Slime Climb. Really? Yeah. Everyone's Slime Climb? I like Slime Climb. I like Fall Mountain. Fall Mountain might be one of my favorites also. Yeah. Uh, Slime slime Climb. Yeah, Hex and Slime Climb. Yeah, I, slime Climb is the perfect epitome of this game. It's just it, why it's the the ultimate race. It's a it, race. You, you get people like grabbing you. There's there's so many different strategies in Slime Climb. Plus every obstacle that they have in the fucking game, they throw at you on here also. And you have to outrace a pit of slime that's slowly raising up. And, and twenty nine other people most of the time. I hate yep. the fucking yeah, noodles. I hate you're the noodles, racing though. Oh, I just made them through them. I just made oh, them through them. I hate the noodles, dude. I've gotten better at it. But that's the thing that's nice about Slime Climb is every tier of it is a new challenge. You're right. Everything that they provide in this game is pretty much in Slime Climb. And I'm going to say I agree with Ethan. Hex is also my second favorite. I've never won it, but I love playing it. I'm in there. Oh, yeah. But I just right. love Hexagon. I don't know why. It's like I, I've never beat it. But I always get super close. So what's that feel like to actually win in Hex, Austin? Because you, you've gone beast I've never that. won in Hex, ever. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm saying. the only you... one that I haven't won in. Yeah, but it's so much fun, though. I've beaten Fall so Mountain. Satisfying. Yeah. So what's your least favorite level of the game, then? Uh, any tail. <laughs> Nobody likes tail. Perfect match is all right. A lot of people hate uh, it. It's boring. It's just uh, boring. 
Yeah, it's pointless. It. You don't eliminate anybody. It's a pointless game. Yeah, you're but, rare. Uh, I know. For me personally, Rollout could go fuck itself. Yes, agreed. I hate both. I, hate I like Rollout. Rollout. No, Rollout is Rollout's boring. Fucking game. Rollout's my favorite team game uh, besides Fall Ball. I Roll- think no, uh, team game. No, no, Rollout. Roll- oh, you're Rollout. Thinking of- I'm thinking Rock and Roll. Rock and Roll. Yeah. That's the one I was thinking too. What's yeah. what's what's the one with the spinning fucking turbine in the slide? That's rollout. I hate, I hate that one. It's yeah. my least favorite. Yeah, Ethan, that's because that's so... because you don't grief. Once you I start griefing, grief. rollout is so much better. Ooh. That's not the one with the eggs, is it? No. No, that's uh, egg siege and egg scramble. Both yeah, of those, I hate like, both of those. Also. Yeah. The stupid ones with the eggs. That game. It. <laughs> oh, speak of the devil. Speak of the devil. Egg there you go. Yeah, y'all have fun with that. Fuck that shit. <laughs> I like this game. Still in here. Yeah, I like eggs. I'm not against eggs at all. I really like the gauntlet levels. I really do. Anything that's a race to the end, yes, especially races. Races are this game at its best, right? For I, sure. I think and uh, that's... racists are not the best at this game. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen the witches on there, clans. So seen. clever. But for me, like some of the levels are just subpar. But like, I really enjoy Seaside. It's still frustrating for me. The Whirly Gig is that what it's called? Whirly Gig. Yes. Whirly Gig is yeah. fun. Yeah, I like Whirly Gig. gig. Is fun. But the thing that's great about this game is there's little shortcuts. There's little cheats everywhere, and sometimes there's bugs in it. The uh, block game. What is the block that you could jump on the little wood block in the party. middle? Block party. Remember, Austin's like jump on the the wood and ride it out. And the glitch before they fixed it was great because you'd actually ride it to the back of the screen. And it was really, really fun to do. It was hard to do, but like you were guaranteed to win. And so there's little shortcuts. And people are always finding additional shortcuts, like to the point where we get on YouTube and we'd be sharing videos about shortcuts in each of the stages. And that's what makes it so much fun is they built this game in such a simplistic way, especially with the level design, but they built in a lot of little shortcuts. And I think sometimes glitches. And out of nowhere, we got a, a transition from season one to like halfway through the mid-season break, where they called it, where they changed the game just a little bit. Is that when they introduced the Yeetus? Yes. The mid-season break? Oh, you guys yeah. feel oh, like the big fuck. Yeet changed the game at all? Yes. Uh, no, no. Uh, no, no, it I didn't think change it's... it at all, but it's also, it, you can use it to your advantage a lot of times. It's helped me in several levels, but also it can fuck you over. So it doesn't really change the game. It might help out one or two people, but overall, I don't see it like really. It adds, it a, adds a gamble. Personally. Yeah, it adds an interesting element to the game. I like how Ethan said it. It's a gamble. Like yes. a lot of yeah, that's definitely. what this game is. Is like, do I risk? Because that's what makes this fun too, is like, just a small bad move on your part because of the ragdoll mechanics can mean utter destruction in a level. Use One thing that really bothers me is about this game, it seems that these characters have the same type of physics as anime titties. Like, whereas a fucking <laughs> little as breeze will just fucking knock you off and you're going to go jiggling and falling and flopping out. <laughs> this game does not use the fucking gamble mechanic enough, in my opinion. They've only started kind of tapping into it. I think with Whirly Gig, the big, big fan, you can go up through the middle and cut through. That I still have not figured out how to get through. You have to either decide, eh, I could go through there and be first or go around. That's a good thing. But a lot of their other levels, they don't really have anything. Fruit Shoot. Oh, I hate fruit shoot. Fruit shoot's kind of lame. It's either stick to the left, stick to the right. Oh, it fucking no, not anymore. Not anymore. No, not no anymore. what 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 they do? What they change? Give us the inside. Well, note. the thing with fruit shoot now is the fruit can shoot all over the place. Ooh. So sometimes, sometimes, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sometimes the middle is the best strat, where Ooh. you you kind of stick yes. close to a side because you don't want to get hit by the uh, cinnamon sticks. Right. But <laughs> it's 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 like if any other adult heard us talking about this and be like, "What the fuck is wrong with you guys?" Fuck? <laughs> like the they don't, cinnamon they don't get sticks hit by the cinnamon sticks. What Ew, the fuck? What the hell? Um, God, God, that they, rules. But what that's they the got, thing. Got their candy land online. <laughs> yeah. They just need to kind of start tapping into that a little bit more. Go into multiple pathways, which they're they're exploring oh, a little bit. But some of the newer game modes they've been exploring, they haven't really been giving themselves a window to do that what is it the the great wall or Bobby, the get away from one? me asshole oh yeah. wall guys what the fuck, wall dude. guys dude yeah. i didn't even know that was you bro yeah how the fuck can you not see the fucking arrow i can see it's you <laughs> I don't, that's what you probably lost because you're not looking at where you're supposed to no, be no i was looking at where i was going i saw some fucking asshole friend of mine that was supposed to be my fucking squad cutting off my path like a i didn't know that was you it was like you were the you're the Wait. worst at fucking being on the fucking squad dude look at the fucking arrow <laughs> oh, did you get the end? He was, my just like, he was like, "You're Fuck. right. You're right. I did not scoot right." 
right. And <laughs> save. Oh, yeah. Boom. <laughs> Done. Good to go. That guaranteed just made the best of Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I love me some rants. But that's what I'm saying. That's the excitement of this game and playing that as, as our scoot. When we get in there, we get crazy. Fuck me. What I like is uh, you were kind of talking about oh, even – was you know on Reddit they listen to the fans like if they, yes. the fans say something or they have opinions about it they change it and this game is constantly changing that's what's interesting you know we had season one we had the mid season break they changed a lot of levels and then season two hit and we got a bunch more levels and I do want to say I love Wall Guys it's like one of my favorite levels hands down yeah like, I, I gotta go with you on that one it's a good it's, one it's tense as shit I like it um uh, last game that we just played i got first place in it but if you are not jump diving yeah all the way across to the end i mean you're gonna get fucked and there's a lot of times i mean that's the real bean tornado right there there's there's like five or six levels where you really face it at the end of dizzy heights on that last spinning platform everybody gets bodied in that one corner over there slime climb it's that first yellow triangle everybody fucking right, right there trying to jump off of it the fucking black friday doors and hit parade but wall guys has that on every fucking platform that you go to if you're not yeah. following the right fucking path so like you're constantly getting bonked and bounced off like constantly or you could be pulling up and somebody can hit you and knock you off so that game really pisses me off a lot i know y'all like this game and i'm 50 50 at it so well, that's what's cool about this is each of us can like one or hate one and when we get into the well, round we'll, we'll usually say we'll be like oh, i fucking hate this one or you know or we'll cheer on the other one who's really good at that round like i said earlier austin kills it at hex every time we're like fuck yeah and we actually team work on that too like on hexagon we'll look at the other beans and be like these guys are above you right now austin don't worry or oh you're in a good spot just keep jumping slow like we kind of communicate through that too. It's so important to have your friends, even after they get out, stay in the lobby. Yeah. Because how many people are above me? What level are they on? It's teamwork. It's fucking awesome, dude. How well, yeah, you, you can also fucking... change the camera position and be like, there's a guy on the same platform as you. You're down to him, but watch out because he's all the way across. He's going to cut you off right here. Yeah, that is very much team oriented in a squad, I think. Let's talk real quick about the costumes and stuff like that. That's another thing that keeps you coming back is getting the kudos and definitely getting the crowns, but being able to go to the store and spend that and dress up your character. Like, Jake definitely has a favorite costume right now, and that is the rooster... Jacket from uh, Hotland Miami. Oh, yeah. Right, and he usually always wears that on his character. Anyone else have anything, like, specifically they really like? Like, me, I like to mix it up every couple of rounds. It's almost like a gambling thing where, like, if you're in a casino, it's just like, this machine isn't working anymore, let me go to another machine. Does anyone have yeah, any favorites? Yeah. Oh, no, I do like to mix it up every game or so. I like what I call a clean bean. I don't wear costumes. I like to use the different color patterns and, and the different Let's patterns and everything. Let it all hang out. There. Same, same. I, I also love a clean bean. <laughs> I do love a clean bean also, yeah. yeah. I like to clean a bean. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes I'll wear a, I'll wear a, a bottom. I'll, like right now I'm wearing a skirt. But I, I don't like a full costume on my bean because I like to be able to see him anytime I can in a lobby. I also try to pick colors that, like, I'll look at the lobby that day and see what a lot of people are doing and try to pick colors that don't match what those people are doing. And you're right, so because I, right now we have a million witches in the game because they yeah. did the Halloween special and the witch suit was like 100 kudos for the top and 100 kudos for the bottom. So everyone's wearing a witch, so it is a little <laughs> bit easier to get lost in the crowd. When you make your bean look a little bit different, that's important to be able to see where he's at, even though the little arrows there, but Javi, I hear you. It's also, it's also a good strategy to sometimes to uh, wear the costume everybody. that everybody else is wearing. If you're in a if tournament, you're... some of these guys I watch in the tournament, if you stand out, there's stream snipers that will brief you just because they know you're streaming and you're in a tournament. That's so, awesome. So they'll uh, go in and fuck with them. That's so great. Man, whenever Sonic came out, like oh, everybody yeah. had Everyone fucking, yeah. had fucking Sonic. Yeah, and and it's a cool costume, dude. so I like to I'll get a costume that I really like and I'll wait a little while and sit on it until everybody's done using it because exactly. everybody yeah. usually switches to the new shit and then rock that so I'll know and chances are that most of the time it would be just me and they're rocking that outfit. I want to say it's funny that the Sonic fan, uh, Mr. Uh, Reverend Easton, uh, Easton, Reverend <laughs> Easton, Mr. That's Reverend his Dr. Eastwood, uh, uh, he was shitting on the Sonic thing there for a second. You sounded annoyed by huh? that, Ethan. You sounded like you didn't like the Sonic outfit. I figured no, you would have loved that. No, I'm sorry. Everybody had it. <laughs> yeah, no, everybody had it. And uh, honestly, the, the number of crossovers this game has had is fucking insane. They've crossed over with Valve multiple times for a couple Team Fortress costumes. 
Portal, uh, Portal uh, man. Hotline Miami, Sonic. What's next? You Are know what's next, Doom motherfucker. You know what's next. Doom Guy would be awesome, but you know what's next. Oh, yeah. November 3rd. That's what's next. November 3rd. Fucking. Mm-hmm. Now, this podcast will probably be out November after. 3rd, Alexa Day, wait, wait. Are, you, are you a deaf autistic having an episode yeah, right well, now with that noise? <laughs> mm-hmm. That's sounded like Godzilla to me. It's Godzilla, bro. Godzilla's coming in hard. I can't wait. That's why I've been he saying like so much. He's coming in hard. Oh, he's yeah, mm-hmm. coming in you hard. <laughs> 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 Somebody's flicking my clean lean or whatever you call it. Um, but I cannot wait. I'm so pumped to the point where I've been waking up early for other reasons too because I'm sick. <laughs> but, uh, but I've been playing the game by myself just to get crowns, you know, as I level up. And that's the only way because I suck at getting crowns in the game. But if I level up strategically, by the third, I should have the 10 crowns I need to get the full Godzilla outfit. And I love the king of monsters like i'm such a huge fucking fan so just invite austin over to your place and let him play under yeah, your austin. account you'll have enough dude, crowns. i'll do it i'll minutes. get you some crowns dude is that like fucking, crowns. fucking 57 or some bullshit right now what are you serious yeah 55 right now are, you have 55 crowns yeah and i haven't really played in like a week so. <laughs> bro how <laughs> it's, it's good man that was it's my next thing i was gonna ask like tell me There's what the- is the secret Persistence. <laughs> well, you yeah, yeah, I mean, get you, eight hours of sleep, each of vitamins. Well, it's to not, be consistent, it's, be consistent. To be fair, on be some fair. of those days you're playing for donuts. like eight, nine hours, right? Yeah, yeah. I've had some sessions where, like, for about a week, I was waking up every day at like seven a.m. and I would get on and I would play till five in the evening. It was like a job for me, especially since we don't have jobs right now. <laughs> uh, yeah. That's the last thing I really want to talk about. Do we think that COVID quarantine? And all that stuff. I think we said it earlier. Really played into the success of this, but like, absolutely. Is is would this game in a world without COVID would it have been this big? No, no. I don't think uh, so. You know what? I think so. I think it'd be big, but not as big as it is. What do you yeah. think? Uh, yeah, I agree. I agree. So yeah, I think that that it was lightning in a bottle because Woo! of the circumstances. <sighs> nice of everything that's going on in the world. Do we want a sequel or we just want more seasons like they're doing? Seasons. More seasons, man. Updates. We don't need a sequel, yeah. yeah. This is a game that can last forever, just like Fortnite. They're not going to make a Fortnite 2. They're just going to keep updating it. And what's really, this game is costumes. so much better than Fortnite. Yeah. yeah, yeah, but you get what I'm saying, though. Yeah. And then just, just add on new levels. Uh, eventually, there should be a point where we don't see any of the original levels at all. I mean, they might sneak them in here and there, but there should be a point that it reaches where we just keep constantly have new parties. levels coming. Yeah, yeah same here. Yeah, that's because bu- five of us couldn't even play. That's bullshit, right? Well, one of the things yeah. they talked about um, when the game was released that they want to do that they haven't done yet is they want to have a customizer. So they want to be able to have the uh, players build their own levels, <gasps> which would be yes, that would that be great. Happen. And that's happening. That's another now. thing. That's another thing that they fucking do with like Valve Portal Two. It has a community where you can play other puzzles that people have made. Yeah. So there's people on the subreddit that are creating levels on PlayStation's dreams and oh, submitting yeah. them. Yeah. <laughs> so I think they're taking a lot of advice from that shit also. They might even ask, be asking people to come on as developers. Halo, yeah. for the longest time, at least, uh, I don't know if they still do it, but uh, when I was playing Reach on the 360, they would actually take Forge maps that people had made and submitted to them, and they started putting those into the multiplayer rotation. I remember my roommate's older brother, he actually put together a map and tried to submit it and get it in the rotation, but yeah. It's been done before. It was really successful. Some of those maps were really, really fun. And honestly, some of them are even fucking classics that I distinctly remember having great times on back in the day. So if Fall Guys does that, boom, Fall Guys will be here for years to come. Endless possibilities. That's mm-hmm. what I was going to ask. Obviously, this is a, a moment in time where this is the big game, such as Angry Birds, Before It, you know, things like that, Fortnite, like you what said. The fuck? Um, how long does this game last? Do we get two years out of it, five years out of it, ten years out of it? Does it just become like... Fortnite's peak was probably about two to three years. And I mean, it's still like one of the most played games right now. So I'd say probably two to three years unless they just keep stoking the flames. I think this game has already peaked. I think it had its peak. But I don't unless think... Unless they do uh, something drastic. But I haven't got my toys yet. I want the, I want little bean action figures. I think I'd be oh, fucking sure, badass. Yeah. Build, no, we fucking build. Don't. Build those like fucking potato heads. Fuck Give me a bunch of customizables for that shit. That would be awesome. <laughs> what the hell just happened? I Death. think customizables would be really cool. Real quick, has anyone got the kill screen where all the beans die? No. Yes. 
What was it like you whenever you saw that, the Easter egg, man? I already knew that it was a thing, so I wasn't surprised. It was like, oh, here it is. I've been seeing this. So all of them fall over and die, and they're all the same color, and then you just get kicked back to the lobby? Is that what happens? No, you keep running. Just There's a bunch that fall and die. Like You have a shit ton of extra beans that just fall down, and then you play the game as it is. Like They just have a shit ton of dead beans that are all wearing oh, the media tonic skins that's and shit. That's so uh, sad. Are they in the yeah. way? Like you can bump no, into them? No, no, no. No, I mean, uh, you might at the very beginning, but it's right beyond the starting line. So whenever you run off, they're, oh, they're gone. You're not a, yeah, you're, you don't have to worry about it anymore. Cool. What so it happens mean? right as soon as it starts, and then you just see all these beans <laughs> drop. And then you... That reminds me of my favorite White Stripes song, Dead Beans on the Dirty Ground. Dead, Dead beans. beans on the Dirty Ground. <laughs> and you know I'm not around. When they moved to season two, I like a lot of the stuff they implemented, especially you can do the main show or you can do the gauntlet. I don't care much for the slime show or whatever they call it because it tends to repeat. But I like gauntlet a lot. In the future, when they do the mid-season break and hopefully go to season three, what do you guys want from this game? Do you want a different theme other than, obviously, we went medieval for the, the second season. Are we going space? Are we going zombies? Are we going Space would be fucking cool. It would make yeah? sense because they've already got a spaceman suit that they have loaded in already what do you guys or, want you know, though wild you... west like i, I love that the idea cool. of, of a zombie one it'll be a nice addition to like add an element to like if a zombie catches you you're out i bet you we get christmas theme i bet you we get christmas yeah. shit coming up like that would be really cool well if they do that a zombie catches you you're out that would essentially just be a tell tag right or a jinx no, well, the, the zombie is a computer, not somebody else. Oh, well, then that would be Fall Guys. Yeah, that, that wouldn't be Fall Guys, then. They could do yeah. it like Infected, where one person randomly starts out as a zombie, and if every Yeah, you know, that's all I'm saying. It'd be like jinxed. Yeah. yeah. yeah it changes. Although you'd have to, you'd uh, I don't know, maybe pick a loser from the previous game to stay in and be the zombie, because you don't want anyone to be uh, just like, oh, great, I randomly got chosen to be out. Well, well, I fuck. think the way that would make most sense, if anything, would be like tell tag. So if you had like twenty people, ten of them are zombies. Well, no, that wouldn't work either. Fuck. We're making ga- we're making levels right now. And I love that. <laughs> and somebody said something in there that was the key point of this. This game is a community game, but it's also you're playing against other people and not AI. And you know it by the way that the beans act. You yeah. know it by the way that your competitors act or come at you or grief you or move yep. around, or throw up the, you know, their insults at you and stuff like that. And that's how you know that you're actually playing other people. And regardless of the fact that you're not talking to them, you feel that human interaction on this game when you play it. So I just, I, I'm telling you guys, this is where it's at. Like, this game well, is so much fun. In a sense, you can talk to them without having to talk to them, They're just like Dead by Daylight. You know, there's things that you can do where you interact with the killer, even though they can't hear you, but they know what the fuck you're doing. Right. Uh, same with this. If you're at the finish line and you could be out there, not griefing anybody, just celebrating. And then another bean will come up and start celebrating with you. It's like, yeah, we made it. And then you go in. Or if you're at the finish line being a griefing piece of shit, people are going to run up and start griefing you also. So, I mean, you're, you're talking. It's nonverbal communication, but we all know what the other one's fucking thinking and doing. I saw yeah. two people at the end of the line the other day. It looked like they were literally just having a conversation. And it was the weirdest thing where I was like, this world's alive in a weird way. And yeah. I really, really dig it. And it's just, and also, like I said, it's just helped me through the hard times here. So I had an interaction with somebody the other day where I tried to grief them off a rollout and they didn't like that, obviously. You know, they didn't like me trying to kill them. <laughs> but, uh, oh my God, I just won. Oh, I just nice. won. Woo! Did you get a crown? Yeah. Yeah. You just got a crown on the yeah. podcast at the end of the podcast. You got a crown. GG fucking GG Allen, bro. motherfucker. Well done, GGs. GG Allen. What was it uh, on? Hex or? Uh, yeah, Hex. I got a Hex. Beast. Call these Hex. Genius right there. You so, uh, were- so anyway, so I had an interaction with somebody where uh, we were on rollout, and I tried to grief them. I tried to push them off the edge. They didn't like that, obviously. I didn't succeed. I failed. They turned around. They tried to grief me. They didn't. They failed. They didn't get me off. And then both of us ran over to a wall on the moving platform, and we looked at each other. And at the same time, we did the same emote. Slow clap. No. Yeah. Way. No. It wasn't the slow clap. I don't uh, know who it was. Uh, I remember you telling me about this. I have. A, I have a like clip that. of it. But it was just like we ra- we both tried to kill each other. Then we ran over, and then we did the same emote. And after that, we were bros. And then we yeah. were out there like. <laughs> We stayed next to each other. We didn't try to kill each other. It was just like this weird moment where you just have like a a moment with somebody. That's That's priceless, dude. That's crazy. Hands down. This game is not just about the game. It's about community. It's about friendships. 
you know, it's just about hanging out and having a good time. And we have so much fun. Like I said, this time is hard on all of us. And having this weird thing that isn't social media, but it's its own form of it to kind of be there and to step in and build friendships while we can't see each other in person, but we can play this stupid kid's game and run around and have so much fun and talk about all the stuff that's going on in our mind and the world and just have a place to kind of relax amongst friends has meant the world to me. And that's what this game, you know, after long after we're no longer playing it, I'll look back with fond memories of it and be like, that was so fucking cool to have that at that time. Um, Other than that, anything else guys, anything I got one thing. Okay. Javi? Yep. Why do you have a painting of the little baby from Teletubbies above you? <laughs> it's a Monchichi. That's Hobbs. <laughs> it's him. It's Hobbs. That's a self-portrait that I did in 2014 as my uh, oral painting final. Bro. Already. <laughs> so that was sitting, when, when I helped Javi clean up a little bit, that was sitting in his bedroom, and he did not want to put it up. And I, I was like, no. bro, we're, we're putting this up. No. And I didn't want to put up a lot of my. I don't like putting up my shit for some. Dude, you, sh- you need to hang up your art, bro. Yeah, so dude, I forced him to put that up, and now when he sits in front of it, he's like a fucking king. I love it. <laughs> right. I know you got like this <laughs> portrait hanging above him, just yeah, just so you know whose place this is. Like, I, is this guy's place? I just want to yeah. say though, just want to say fucking kudos to Austin for getting that fucking crown at the end of the podcast. Dude. Right? Oh, yeah, that, dude, that was great. clutch. That was Beast, clutch, dude. and like, he did get. Kudos for it. That's what I'm saying, dude. Literally, he got crazy. kudos. Yeah. Alrighty, boys. End of the cast. Every game we review, we got to give a rating. So for our newcomer here, Austin, we rate this just like Sonic Adventure. S being the best, A, B, C, D, E being the worst. Austin, my friend, amigo, you just came off of a hot win. What is your rating, good sir, for Fall Guys? I, I would say this, is, this has S potential. I would say it's an A right now. There's a few things they can do to improve it, and I hope to see that in the future. Right now, it's an A. All righty. Javier. S. S all the way. S. Oh, God, S. <laughs> <laughs> Remember how I said he, he would, was warning us earlier when he was coming? Well, there you go. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, I'm going to S. I'm going to S. I'm going to S. So hard. I'm going to S. How's that S Why? Case? Why me? Jakey, son. What would you uh, rate, Paul, guys? S? Solid S. Solid S. Yeah, I'm really happy with it. Uh, there are things that I don't like about it, but that's just I mean, that's part of life. You, you can't have everything. Um, Fair but enough. It's, it's too much fun. I highly recommend it to anybody, and it's gotten me through a really hard time as well. So I, I rate it solid. I would just solid right. Sonic. I appreciate the fact that me and Jake are like holding hands and essing all over everybody. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes. Touch my Alrighty. head. Ducky son. Dude, I'm going to give this an S for Scoot! <laughs> yeah. Fuck it, Scoot! I love this Scoot dude. dude. I'm also going to give it a G for GG Allens to everybody. Yes. Uh, across the board, I love this game. And I, just I love think y'all are about game. to hate me, though. Oh, uh, 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 I rate this game a solid B. <gasps> yeah. Why? Ooh, sacrilege. You're off the Scoot. You're off the Scoot! You were okay. kicked out of Bagu. You should have given. Talk. You should have gave it an S for Sprinkle Boys. What are you talking about? Why? Why B? Go ahead. It's a good game. I like it. It's fun. But much like the issue with Red Dead Redemption Two, because I've been oh, going back yeah, and listening to all those casts, Jesus. it doesn't hold my attention. Mm. So I only ever play this game with you but guys. Sonic does. Interesting. The f- fucking payday too. Uh, yeah. yeah. I only ever play this game with you guys, and I love every minute of playing this with you guys, uh, but I you. will we not go you. through and play this I got by myself. You. I got you. Yeah, that you makes sense. Really. That makes sense. It's hot but for everyone. I highly recommend it. It's a fucking great game. Get it now while it's hot. And this game is going to go cold here in the next few years. Get it now. You're right. There's a time frame on this. Get yourself a scoot. Get in there. With that said, guys, thank you so much for doing this. I appreciate it. Thank so, you for having me. Yeah, 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 thank you, guys. Yeah. Across yeah, the board, pleasure. Jake, Austin, Javi, you guys rock, but uh, I got to tell you something. No, no, Duck, please allow me. Okay, go ahead. There's something very important that you can never, ever, ever forget. You ain't yeah. Billy Mitchell, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> so stop trying. Just stop. Just stop. Who's oh, Billy Mitchell? God. Right, God damn it. <laughs> Who's Billy Mitchell? <laughs> Fuck you. No. Fuck you, dude. 
<laughs> I would wow. love to. Oh. And there it is. Thank you again so much for checking out the podcast today. If you enjoyed it, head over to your favorite podcast app, Spotify, Stitcher, Podbean, and iTunes, and give We Are Podcast Network a like. And if you've enjoyed this podcast, you're going to love the other podcasts here on the We Are Podcast Network. We have We Are Air, where we talk movies, entertainment, whatever the fuck we want to talk about. That's me, that's Jake, and that's Hobby. We're breaking down that pop culture, and we're having so much fun. Heroes, Jiro's A Dungeons and Distractions side quest. Me and the boys were playing some D&D. You can start that one from Season 1, Episode 1. It's a blast the whole way through. And I hate being sober. Personal stories from epic people. I sit down with some of my favorite people of all time. We talk about their trials, their tribulations, and their journey this far. And finally, our new live video podcast, Camp Slash Horrorcast, where we're going to have a roundtable discussion about our favorite horror movies. That'll be available on Twitch and YouTube, streaming every Monday at 8 p.m. Check the links in the description to find out what movies we'll be watching. Also, check the links in the description for our social media. You can find us at Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at backslash we are podcast network. With that said, thank you so much for checking out the podcast today. Please remember to support local comedy in any way that you can. We'll see you next time.